Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Casey and I like to talk about fitness and beauty and a few things in between. So if that sounds like your jam, hit that subscribe button and keep on watching. If you have been following along, I've been creating videos ranking my makeup collection category by category. I believe the only two categories that I have left are lip products and eyeshadow palettes. And I'm so excited to do the eyeshadow palette ranking because eyeshadow is my favorite makeup product. However, I'm dragging my feet on creating the video because I don't know how because of the way that I have redesigned some of my eyeshadow palettes. So I thought that prior to making that video, maybe it would be more beneficial for me to just show you what I've done. I am really happy with what I have done with my eyeshadow palettes. It's really allowed me to use them so much more and to discover colors and color combinations that I wouldn't have been able to discover before had I just kept them in the palettes as they were. So I will show you what I mean as we get to talking about it. But in addition to showing you how I organize my eyeshadow palettes, I think I'm just going to show you my, my vanity, my vanity organization. We live in a decent sized house for two people, but it's still a smaller house and we don't have a whole lot of storage space. Our closets are very small and so I've had to be creative with some of the ways that I've organized my beauty products, especially being that I have probably more than a girl needs. So I'm just gonna show you what I've done, how I have my things set up, what things I've purchased to organize, and how I set, where, where I sit to do my makeup every morning because I don't have like a dedicated vanity vanity. Hopefully this will be helpful to you because I think if you watch beauty YouTubers, I feel like that their vanities and their makeup rooms are what every girl dreams of having, but a lot of times we don't have that space or the type of money to spend on that kind of stuff. So I just want to show you the setup that I've created. I haven't spent a whole lot of money. I kind of just use what I've had and bought little things along the way. So in showing you this, I just hope that you find it helpful, especially if you find yourself like me where you live in a smaller house without a lot of storage space. I, I really like my setup. I think that I've found some really cool things and things that have really, really made a difference in how I organize things and have really saved a lot of space. So I'm excited to show you my setup. So let's get into it. I'm currently in our office. It is partly our office with our computer and office stuff, of course, and then our, our my closet and like my beauty setup space. I was getting ready in our bathroom because the lighting in there is a bajillion times better, but it just was really, it just got to be a lot with carrying my stuff in there every day and then it always seemed like Jason and I were trying to get ready at the same time, so it was just kind of inconvenient. So I just decided to just stay in here and have my setup be in here. So this little setup right here, I don't mean to blind you, this has just kind of moved with me from house to house. I don't really know what it is. Pretty sure they just sell it at Walmart, Target. This bottom basket here, I put my hair tools in. So I have my blow dryer, my round blush dryer, and then my hair straighteners are right here because I use them all the time. My regular hair straightener, my hair straightening brush. This basket here is what holds like all of my eyeliners and brushes and just like everyday, this is like my everyday basket that I'll pull out and sit beside me. This basket is from Target. So inside here, I've got like my setting sprays. These like little cups that I keep stuff in are just from the dollar store. These are all of my makeup brushes. This brush holder is from Amazon and it's got three dividers in there. So this first one is like my eye brushes my cheek brushes, my smaller brushes, and then this big one over here is my bronzer and my powder brushes. And then I've got three little basket dividers in here. This one is like mostly my sponges and some tools, sharpeners. This one are my highlighters, and this one is mostly uh, blushes and bronzers. These guys are also highlighters. They're just too big to fit in the little basket dividers that I have. This holder is the exact same as my makeup brush holder, only I use this one for my eyeliners and mascaras. I really like that because I'm able to divide them into, these are all my colorful eyeliners, these are mascaras, and then these are my like my more everyday most used eyeliners. And then this guy, again, this is just like another little candle holder I got from the dollar store that I use to organize and store my, my eyebrow products. And then I've got a couple eyeliners in there that are, you know, like little pencils that I just keep in there so that I can find them easier. So this is really handy. I really like that I found this basket to store it all in and it all fits in there very nicely, like I said. When I get ready in the morning, I will usually pull this basket out and then I grab that big mirror and I pull it 
over here so that it's sitting right here. That way I'm getting the best light coming in from this window here and then the window behind me. So then I just pull this basket over here and then I've got something in there that I pull out that I'll show you in just a second. But that's that will be my setup then for when I'm getting ready, when I'm putting my makeup on in the mornings. So just to finish up over here, this storage box is all of my headbands. Right here, I've got all like my my hair clips. This one right here is the one that I use at night when I go to wash my face. I clip my hair back and then that's my hair washing headband. And then this guy, I think he's actually, I, I, need, I should get a new one. He's bowing pretty bad. He's not the best of quality. I'm pretty sure I got this at Hobby Lobby and it's meant to like organize papers. I think it's supposed to be like a mail organizer or something, but I use it to organize my eyeshadows. So the top drawer here, I've got all of my ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadows. These little box dividers are back from when I was subscribed to, what was it, to Birchbox actually, and I just kept, I don't know, it just worked out that these two fit in here, and so I use them to organize. And then down here are more just single eyeshadows, so this is another Birchbox box, and I just got my NYX singles. This little divider here is from the dollar store. Like my small eyeshadow palettes that I don't want to put in with my big palettes, my Tarte Chrome paint pots, just single eyeshadows, basically. And then up top here, I've got my Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes because they're too special and fragile that I need to keep them separated and safe at all times. My Mayron mixing liquid. And then up top here, like I said, I've got my vanity light up mirror. And then another candle holder that I got from the dollar store that I use to store my hair ties. This is also from the dollar store. I use it to store my bobby pins and hair clips. And then over here, I just keep like my, my face moisturizers and some of the oils that I use. I keep them in here because after I wash my face, I put on my serums in the bathroom and then ideally I like to let my serum sink in for a couple of minutes. And so I will come into here and put on my pajamas because all of my clothes are over there in my closet. And then when I'm done putting on my pajamas, that's usually about time that I'll put on my moisturizer. So then I'll come and sit on my little stool here, put on my moisturizer and oils, and so that's why I keep them in here. And then this guy here, this is a lamp. This bottom guy is my stash of wintergreen mints because I'm an addict. This one right here just holds like my skincare samples that I'm working through, some of my favorite glosses, hand sanitizer, just stuff that I grab on the go, stuff that I have carry with me every day to work. And then this one up here are my rings, some jewelry. And that is that. And then come over here. This is my closet. So to me, this is the main star of the show as far as my beauty organization goes. This little rolling cart changed my life because before having this, I had more, I had another basket over there and I had a couple of baskets inside my closet that stored everything and it was just like there was stuff all over the place. And once I got this, it fit everything and it cleared up, freed up so much space and it's just so nice and so easy that I can roll this into my closet when I'm done with it, roll it out and I have it sitting right here next to me in the morning when I'm getting ready and it's just so simple. I love it so much that I got two of them. So this one is all of my, my beauty products and then this I've got one there in the corner that holds all of my paints and my, my art supplies. They're fantastic. So anyway, up top here is like my most used stuff, like my deodorant, some of my lotions, hand lotions, some of the perfume samples that are too small that I don't want them getting lost. This is where I keep all of my fun, pretty hair clips. And then in here is where I keep my glitter, liquid glitter eyeshadows. Again, this organizer I believe was just from, uh, maybe this one was Target, either Target or the dollar store. And then this section are all of my hair products, my body lotions, my perfumes, body sprays, more hair clips here, I can never have enough. And then down here is, I've got my hair brushes apparently, <laughs> uh, my hand mirror. These two bags here are just two Ipsy bags. One of them has my, like my foundation, my face products, and the other one is face powders. And then, this little guy is a planter, I believe. 
I don't know where I got this, the dollar store or Target, I assume, but that's got all of my highlighter sticks. And then in here are all of my eyeshadow palettes. So I don't think I'm going to show you like my eyeshadow palette collection. I just want to focus mostly on just the ones that I have taken apart and reorganized on my own. So I am going to resituate my camera and I will dive into that. we get started you saw that I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I'm about to show you a lot more eyeshadows so we are going to talk about my obsession we're just going to let it be known that I have one what kind of spurred me to to create this to do this was I, I found that I was accumulating a number of eyeshadow palettes and for me I will very rarely take just one eyeshadow palette to do my entire uh, makeup look from I will usually pull from a couple so I found that I was especially when I was getting ready in the bathroom our bathroom is very small our vanity our counter space is very small but I had like four or five different eyeshadow palettes laid before me because I was pulling shadows from this one and that one and this one and that one and uh, it was just a lot and then I also found that I a lot of times was feeling stuck like I felt limited to this palette's one specific color story and it was very hard for me to vis visualize colors together even though I had a ton of really cool colors it was just very overwhelming for me to see everything laid out before me and to pull looks together in my mind and so I just wanted to be able to see and to select eyeshadow palettes and color stories on my own and just have a better way to organize things. I keep my uh, makeup collection as a whole very very curated. I use all of my makeup and since doing what I'm about to show you with my eyeshadow palettes it has really, really allowed me to use my eyeshadows to their fullest potential because I'm able to play and mix up different palettes and it's, it's just been such a great change. I love it. And I hope that in sharing this, maybe it'll inspire other people to do this because it, it for me, it was a total game changer. So, so a lot of the, the eyeshadows I'm about to show you are from ColourPop because ColourPop eyeshadows are really easy to pull out of the pan. They're, they're magnetic, so you just hold the magnet over the palette or over the like the single eyeshadow and it will just pop right out. So a lot of the eyeshadows I'm about to show you are ColourPop eyeshadows. I have also depotted a few a, a Morphe palette, a few Juvia's Place palettes, I believe a Butter London palette. I can't remember what is all here, but that is another thing. I wish all eyeshadow palettes were really easy to depot, were just magnetic, just like the ColourPop ones are, because I feel that in purchasing, yes, it's really sad to give up the packaging, especially some of my higher end eyeshadow palettes I will, I will never depot because that packaging is too precious. But I feel that we should be able to take apart our palettes and play with them in this way because like I said, this has just been a game changer and has really allowed me to be an artist with my makeup. Firstly, I bought these two big eyeshadow palettes. They are from the brand Adept Cosmetics. I purchased these off Amazon. They open up like a book like this, and so I have got two of them, and I have organized them by color. It's actually really pleasing to look at, so this one is obviously my purples, blues, my pinks. And then this one here are my neutral colors, my greens and yellows. So these two big palettes, I would say, are like my master palettes, if you will. That's where I keep all of my eyeshadows. I keep these up in my closet out of the way because they're not something that I will pull from every single day. I am very, very visual, so for me to create a color story in my head, I just need, I need colors before me like this, but less. So to do that, I was on the hunt for, I wanted magnetic Z palettes, but if you are familiar, Z palettes are actually very expensive and a lot of magnetic palettes are very expensive, especially if you want a decent quality one that's not going to fall apart on you. And I was really torn because these already were fairly expensive. I think they were $30 a piece. 
And then I didn't want to spend another $15, $20 on a couple of single palettes so that I could create my own palettes from my master palettes. So that was my intention was from these two master palettes, I wanted to be able to create color stories. I wanted to be able to pull and create my own eyeshadow palettes from these two master palettes. And so I wanted a couple of spare Magnetic Z palettes that I could do that with, so that when I saw, if I had a color story in my head, I could create that in my own palette. Or if I saw a palette, a new release palette that really caught my eye, I could try to dupe it with the colors that I already have. And so I found, after much, much hunting, I found these. These are actually, they're, they're art bins, so they're for, for crafts. And they're, they're nothing fancy whatsoever. They aren't very aesthetically pleasing, but I actually really, really like these because there's no, you don't have to worry about glue falling apart. They're actually fairly sturdy and stable in here. So all it is is just this plastic compact. And then inside here, this is just a sheet of magnet. So the eyeshadows stick in there very nicely. And when I, when I found these, these were $5. And then I recently was went to purchase another one and I saw that they had doubled in price and they have kind of been going up and down between eight and $10. So while that is still significantly less money than a Z palette or other magnetic palettes that I was looking at, that still, it still sucks, they doubled in price. But I have quite a few of them here. So I have three, currently I have three empty ones. I actually just went through and took out all of the palettes that I had created because I was feeling un uninspired with what I had created. So I've got three spares here left that I can do whatever I want with. And then I've, I've got three of them here that I have kept. These two are, I will probably always keep the same. One of them is like my daily mats that I always pull from and the other one is like more of a cool tone palette that I've created. And then this one is my newest creation. I tried to do the Natasha Glam palette. shadows and it has just been it's so fun I love just recreating palettes like this like I said I've got three spare here and I haven't decided what I want to do with them yet a lot of times I will go on Sephora or Ulta and just look at the eyeshadow palettes and then screenshot a couple of the ones that uh, appeal to me most and then I'll come in here and try to recreate them or recreate the color story anyway and it's just for one it's it's fun. I feel that I'm using my eyeshadows to their fullest potential rather than sitting in a single palette by themselves and me trying to come up with color combinations from that specific color story. I like having them all before me and being able to pull and pick and choose and create my own palettes. I feel that I use my eyeshadow palettes so much more. And two, it, it keeps me from buying more eyeshadow even though I I have plenty more, <laughs> but a lot of times, like I said, rather than buying like the Natasha Glam palette, I recreated it, and so it's just, it's been a way that I have been able to maintain some control, restraint, in buying all of the eyeshadow palettes, even though I continue to buy some here and there. So, like I said, I will try to link everything in the description box, but if you like this, if you like this setup, you can try to recreate it on your own. Maybe you just want a magnetic palette because you've got a couple of loose singles so I, I, will, I will link everything for you but I hope that this video was helpful and like I said my intention with creating this video was don't know how to go about ranking my eyeshadow palettes because like I said the majority of my Colourpop eyeshadow palettes are totally depotted and so I don't know how to like show you oh this is the Colourpop So Jaded palette because it's mixed in with all of these eyeshadows you know so I'm thinking what I might do is rank my palettes, like the ones that I showed you in my cart there, I might rank them. I haven't decided if I want to rank them all as a group or if I want to rank them by category, like ranking all of my neutral everyday eyeshadow palettes, ranking all of my mauve eyeshadow palettes, ranking all of my cool tone eyeshadow palettes. So if you have a preference on that, if you'd rather me rank them all together or by category like that, let me know. And then I think I might do a separate video ranking all of my ColourPop palettes since the majority of my ColourPop palettes are torn apart. That might be easier. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. What would be what would be most interesting to watch? 
Anyway, to conclude this video, I hope that it was helpful for you. I hope that it was interesting and maybe gave you some organization inspiration if you live in a small space or you're just looking to, I don't know, redo your vanity area. If you are a makeup lover, I highly recommend something like this because it's, it's just, it's fun. And you get to touch things and you get to play with things and you get to be your own little artist and palette creators. And I just want to thank you so much for your time today. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope that you hit that subscribe button so you can come back next time. And until next time, I hope that you have a very wonderful day. So if that sounds like your jam, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> What's that? Did you hear that I was trying to record a video and you thought maybe you would come in and bother me? You thought that you'd come in and guilt trip me because I'm not out there with you? Yeah? Do you want to be a part of the video? Do you want to show everyone your room? Your room being every room in the house. 